Let's check it. Tootsie Roll. Castle Keep. Look at this. Ooh. I love doing that. <laughs> I didn't know I could do I, it. What I is that? Oh. <laughs> the funny thing is I told you in the first episode that you could do that. Okay, let's say it. Right. I told you in the first episode you could do that. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> you were right there. Right where you ended last episode. Alright, so with that, we should... We're on the sword card. Right. Then, then I count down. As you do. Alright. Let me do that then. Uh, hold on. Ooh, okay. Oh, boy. And we are back playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's actually been a while for us. Very. We recorded some Dokopan. We played some games, made some names. Uh, failed at editing some videos on my part. Oh. Should I use Admittedly, this? it's only been like a week. <laughs> Not even a full week. <laughs> I'm trying to go through here and trying to see what's a good weapon to use. I like the combat knife. But is it any better than my knives of yore? I mean, like... Wait, what, what does more damage? Is it a one-use item? Yeah, it's one-use items. That javelin, these are all these things are one-use items. I'm a combat knife? Is that the only other knife? I do not know. Well, we're in the reverse castle now. Yeah, so... this is really weird. What do you know where the near save room is? Right. Oh, dang, I miss. I'll get it. I miss. Zircon? Zir Whoa. So I already opened this thing. Oh! Don't do that. You can go down in here and get more loot. Oh, shoot, it's all. Royal Cloak! Whoa! Ooh, all my stats say the go same. Oh, just move. Hey! I go with the gorgeous blue cape. The gorgeous blue cape. Poor crystal cloak. All you did was something else. <laughs> and you were also semi invisible. Okay, that's a heart up? Cool. That's a life up? Whoa, why are they just dumping this on me? Another one? They did this last room. In the normal castle, too. What the heck? Is this room just secret in both castles? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Bastard sword, what is that? Standard sword. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and a heart. Oh no, how am I gonna get out? Ow! Oh no, how are you going to get out? I didn't expect the roof to be so low there. Oh, how did I get out? Oh, this is going to be weird. Because your physics are backwards. Oh shoot. You're going to have to bat. Whee! Okay, there's still no bottomless pits. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. So remember how this room was full of a lot of good stuff? Right, now it's filled with a bunch of resists. This has resists today. And I have ocean, nice. Can I miss pass? Oh, but I remember I got the miss upgrade. Or it just lasts as long as uh, you have. Who that? It's York. 
It's Yorg, but he has a body. Okay, let's do the jump. Again. Oh. You trying to use the most pro movement strats. Oh shoot. I missed something in that room. Ah! Okay, I got it. <laughs> That's the same part you missed the first time. Isn't it? Wow. That sword's gonna become your best friend. It definitely is in this scenario. Okay, there's a... Stairs there. Oh man, it's gonna be a hassle to get up there. Okay, what's down here? There's the bottom floor. Going through there. Checking out there. Man, everything's upside down. Nothing is right side up. <laughs> Why is it like this? <laughs> Because it's the upside down castle. But why is it upside Came down? In, it was upside down. This is a story all about a foundry ring. Ah! Okay. This is also where you found the mist upgrade, so maybe you'll find something around here. Another mist upgrade, maybe? Oh, yeah, right. And there's nothing! Nothing? They are not rewarding you for remember where they put stuff last time. This castle's empty! <laughs> oh, that school lord's kinda tough. Oh no, he got him. <laughs> okay. That looks to be a pit that you can explore. Wow, this area is just. Empty. Yeah, it's practically empty here. That's actually surprising. Almost got it. I actually fly. Did I touch it yet? Did I touch it yet? I did. Okay. So, I should head through this thing here first, because that's where the save is. Mm -hmm. At least, that's where the save is in the other castle. It's the exact same castle, just upside down. Oh, this is weird. Well, at least the save points are closer to the ceiling. I will never get used to this. Give, give me a sec. Pause. This is a really androgynous character in this series. Um, hello. It stopped being androgynous. It's weird. Castlevania's just weird. I've learned that there are different variations of Hellfire depending on how you input the last uh, thing. So you can control where you move during teleport. Right. Or if you hold up, there's a different variant it does called Dark Inferno. I want to do that. It's not there. Yeah, it's it's just hellfire. It's just you did a different thing. Whoa. What's in here? Don't you know it? It's a library card. Uh, looks like I give those things out now. The library in this one does not have a librarian in it. So that means the library card has to take me to... What the heck? Hey, you already have a boss. Oh, do I fight it? There's gonna... no choice not to fight it. Oh, ow, it did 4 damage. 34. Now 4. Look at his wings. 
You gonna do bat versus bat? Is that the bull? I'm a better bat than you. You can knock you out of bat form. Helping your sword. It gets better as it levels up. Finally, he's doing damage. Stop it. My sword just says something. It's a very enthusiastic sword. Slash. Dark metal morphosis. Intelligence plus 10! Whoa! Is that just the kind of stuff I'm gonna find in this area? That is one of the items to resurrect Count Dracula. <gasps> I'm gonna need those. Is this implemented? I wasn't there. I think. Aha. You didn't even need the fairy. Moonrod. Let me guess. It does more it damage. It does better damage during the. <sighs> A little bit better. It does actually more damage in the shield rod. Yeah. That's kind of rare. Well, actually, I have a couple weapons that do more damage than the shield rod. But they're dual-handed and they lower my defense a lot. I think I'll just... You know what? I'll just use the moon rod. Use the moon rod. Let's see what it looks like. Moonrod does do better damage in the first six hours. I can go see. I would totally expect oh. that. Yeah, so would I. Effect Flail. Special down... Bottom right... Right... Plus attack. Whoa! That is my Hodokin. That's dope. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test on this guy. Cool. And and no, it does not have better stats during the nighttime. Oh, so is this stronger? Okay, what the heck? That's kind of weird. Get him, sword. No, get him, sword. Just, just give, give him. 
You should see what level the sword is. After that boss fight? Oh god, I leveled up again. Already? This is a new castle, friend. It's under familiars. It's already level 3. The very level 18. I wonder why. You know, like, Tim Brooks, anyone who plays this game is just like, why did you only use the fairy? Bro, I didn't need anything else. Because I'm a, I'm a smart boy. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the music in this game is great. Listen, looking at the, uh... Castlevania Wiki. Seems like Harmony and Despair is a lot like uh, Symphony of the Night. Well, that's good. Metroidvanias, man. You still want to play Super Metroid after this? Super Metroid? Heck yeah. I don't know if I want to use the MSU1 music or not. I haven't heard the MSU1 music yet, so I don't know. It's all kind of cool. Oh jeez, this place sucks. It sucked in the normal castle. There's a locked door up there. Ouch, ouch, ow. I wish Harmony of Despair still existed. What's wrong with it? It was the uh, Fox Live game. Oh. Wait, did you just say Harmony of Despair was like Symphony of the Night? Yeah. <laughs> There is no local co-op for the 360 version of Harmony of Despair, but the pre PS3 version does have 4 player local co-op. <sighs> okay, what was that Did thing? You hear that? What, what? Harmony of Despair on PS3 has 4 player local co-op. <laughs> okay, didn't I have something that made it so that I couldn't, uh, get a... I swear you did. This one. I... I do have something to say about that, but I don't think it's that that did it. Dang. Okay, Bob. Go over to the stone mask. I'm not familiar with the series, but you are. Vampires, stone mask. Vampires, stone mask. Did you know that, uh... What's his name? Hold on, let me look it up real quick. Did you know that no, that's not the guy. Hirohiko Araki is a vampire. Because he's like 50 years old, but he looks exactly the same. Did you know that that stone mask is a reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? This mask is a reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yeah, that's why I'm saying vampires, stone mask. Vampires, stone mask. It is literally the reference. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I know I have something here that prevents me from getting a... Something here that will prevent me from getting a... Yo! 
stoned. But what is it? Oh, there it is. Oh. I don't care. No, I'm smacking this and unlock it. There you go. <laughs> Later. Ah, oh, shoot. Now you have to do it again, and it's harder. No! Hey, at least you can't get stoned. <laughs> That's a big reason why I did it. Shoot, why did I do that? Got it. I keep remembering that the game Kid Dracula exists. What is that? Well, uh... Okay, I'm gonna heal in this room. It is... Dracula's son. And all of the games take place. 10,009 years after... The, say, the first... Castlevania game. Wait, they're Castlevania games? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. And in Castlevania Judgment, there is a reference because the Time Reaper is sent back from a thousand years in the future, ten thousand years in the future, and his master is Galgamoth. Who is the Reaper from that time's master? Uh. Into Dracula. Uh. I wanna get. I don't wanna get on that platform. <gasps> Shoot! No! Why? And like, the funny thing is, in Kid Dracula, Gilgamesh is the final boss. And Gilgamesh is one of the bosses in this game. Galgamoth only appears in Kid Dracula. So is Kid Dracula super deformed a la carte? No. Well, I mean, he kinda has to be. Shoot. These Medusa heads are gonna be the end of me. It's for the freaking god. Oh wow, the sword got him. Okay. Oh my goodness. They have been theorizing on what that unknown shadow in the Smash Ultimate trailer could be. Uh huh. Kid Dracula. Now it's Kid Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> what is he gonna be an echo, an echo fighter of uh, Bowser Jr.? That would be fucking funny. Alucard for Smash, everyone. Alucard for Smash. Kid Dracula for Smash. Alucard for Smash, Echo Fighter, Kid Dracula. <laughs> Can we have Echo Fighters of Assist Trophies? I fucking wish. Okay, that thing on the... Slash! Slash! Oh yeah. Diamond, Life Apple, Sunstone! Sunstone! Sunstone. That thing will be good for weeks. That thing will be good for the rest of the game. Yep. Oh, look at that. Heck yes. I love how whenever you go to a page with a character that's been in most any game, it normally shows their Symphony of the Night picture. <laughs> I 
guess that's the game where a majority of them showed up. And just the game that I feel like brought a lot of people to the series. That makes sense. Oh, I ran out of magic. Oh, not good. <laughs> I ran out of magic. You need to get to a uh, place to heal. This is a safe spot. No, that is outside. <laughs> You need to go up. Shoot. But I ran out of magic. Really hard to navigate now. Okay. Making his way downtown. I don't like Medusa heads. That's the next lyric. Make my way down, down. Don't like Medusa heads. Please stop. Don't want. But -da 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 -da. I don't want you. Please just go away. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, that's this that. Oh, so you wasted all your magic. No reason to go through there because. Well, I filled the map at least. Hey, I can actually hit these- Ah, oh, no! Okay. Uh, healing again. <laughs> healing is good. Let's, let's see, let's eat some roast turkey. Roast turkey, yeah. Mmm. Roast turkey. I wanna know what Dracula X Chronicles a la carte sounds like. I'm interested in this. Oh my goodness. You will not believe who he is voiced by. Actually, you will believe who he is voiced by. Who voices literally everyone in anything from Japan. Um... Anything from Japan? Yeah. I don't know. Who is the guy? Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal? <gasps> Sasuke Uchiha. Oh no! Ben 10. <laughs> Why? Uh, but look what I just got. Resident Evil, Fallout, Assassin's Creed, Dragon Hell. Heck yeah. Better question is, what has an Eerie Lowenthal been in? Um, oh. You know what? He's Spider-Man. Yeah, he's Spider-Man now. He New also... Spider-Man game that came out? He's Spider-Man. Yeah. He also has voice... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's voicing Alucard in Smash Bros. Ultimate? Yes! <laughs> They're using the Dracula X voice actors, I see. Most recent. Even though I prefer this one. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that Alucard shows up in a Schist trophy. Yep. I <laughs> love if he wasn't one. Oh. Uh, do I have something to restore my magic? Ah oh, damn. We need to get you the chrysogram. What's that? It is... The strongest sword in Symphony of the Night. Oh. I would like that. <laughs> oh shoot, my knuckles do more damage again. <laughs> Fuck. If we want to get a Chris Grimm, we're gonna have to farm for it. Why? Because it's such a good weapon. That's super. Why? Who drops Depending. It? Uh, it's called a Shmu. Shmu. And uh, it's a one-handed sword. 
Cool. So it is entirely possible to obtain two of them and wield one in each hand. Oh my god. And when you repeatedly press the attack button while walking, Alucard essentially becomes invincible. Because the slashes go in front of him repeatedly. Using the two chrysogram method, depending on your level, the final form of Dracula can be defeated in about 30 seconds. Uh, just slapping him? Just having two chrysograms. Do I have a stamina? Oh, wait. But like, even before I knew Castlevania super well, I knew that Alucard, in most of his appearances, wielded the chrysogram. Oh, wow. Okay, trying to fly again. Forgot that was there. How far has PS3 emulation come? Um, pretty far, actually. It's... I would say, relatively speaking, it's on the same level that GameCube Wii emulation was in 2013. That's pretty neat. Yep. So we're just joining because PlayStation 3 is a pretty new console, relatively speaking. And also, PlayStation 3 has some of the most complex architecture of any home console ever. <laughs> So also has that going for it. The reason I'm asking is I'm actually curious about, uh, you know. Emulating? Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Oh, I see what you mean. You see what I'm putting down. You um, see my thought process. I'll check. I will check. And if it's there, it will totally go luminous. Sword forged by elves! Whoa, I want it! Damn, that's strong. Check it out. That's so dope. Okay. Set. What'd you see? I'm looking at uh, some information about a boss you're gonna fight soon. No. I say soon. They're in the floating catacombs. The floating catacombs. Okay, two entrances. It's kind of weird, but okay. God, like I need to look. I've just. I've just left you to explore on your own. <laughs> we honestly have no idea on where to go. No idea at all. I completely skipped that part underneath the castle because I'm heading all the way to the right. This is where the library would be. Really? I believe so. Where the castle oh, upside down. It's a tower. That means that's a... Uh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Thank goodness. So, um, in terms of the PlayStation game, you should look up RPCS3. Look up the compatibility list. Oh god, why is there a floating golden skull? So remember when I added all of the Wilkins coffee stuff to the timeline? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I can't smash that. Huh. Yellow one is taking it super seriously. Why? <laughs> I'm just like... It's canon, yes, but don't take it that serious. Like, what is he saying? I find a universal collapse of all matter confusing in the middle of a timeline unless it happens so quickly no one noticed. I'm like... I'm really trying to say it's all coffee related matter, sir. 
What if I said it's all matters related to coffee? All matters related to coffee. That doesn't make sense. Why is he hanging upwards? Because that that makes the whole uh, universal collapse of all matter thing a kind of pun. Because it's not actual matter, it's all matters related to coffee. <laughs> Oh, how am I supposed to use this? <laughs> oh. I wasn't... It does not take you to the other castle. It doesn't take me to any other room in the castle, too. Because you haven't explored him yet. Well, dang. <laughs> I also have a find it funny, I have to use an elevator. <laughs> to use an elevator. Oh, what the heck? I love that it's rarely smoky in here. Rarely? Like, it's only been twice. But what about the golden skeleton? Why is it like that? Because it's made of stone. Why can't I smack it? I could smoke the iron bow. You can't smack stone. You can't bring the thumac down on stone. Even if I do my best? I think we should, uh, next save point we find, finish up so it's not too late. Okay. Okay, let's get through here. What's in here? Library? I'd probably take a romp to the library. Shmoo! There you go, there's the shmoo you can kill to get the chrysogram. Oh, they're scary. I would like to bring up how we really like this song. Isn't this, doesn't this play through the whole castle? <laughs> no. Oh, just the library? Just this library. Uh, I've sung you a song before. I don't think you have. Why does a lion face bomb when he dies? I just showed you it with its lyrics. What the heck? <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. You just have to jump down quickly. You just have to get in there. What? Already? It's been forever since you felt like this, hasn't it? Yeah, but what the heck? Library card, opal, no turquoise. Oh, I don't like this. I'm just gonna... Oh wait. It's longer to go this way. Time to heal. <laughs> Let me see what I got. Pork bun? Okay. Let's eat, let's eat a pork bun. Yum. Okay. Natto? Let's eat some natto. Yum. Okay. What else I got? Uh, barley tea? I'll drink some barley tea. Good. 
Oh, I also got some actual potions. <laughs> I should probably not eat the toadstool. <laughs> Hmm, so I'm looking at the uh, compatibility list for the PS3 emulator. Okay. And 33.72% of games are playable. Good. 41.95 are in game. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I don't know how good that is in comparison to. Uh... 21.91 are able to reach the intro. 2.25 are loadable. Oh dear. 0 0.17 just crashed the emulator. <laughs> well, they might get that number to zero one day. And I have good news for us. What? Our medium disc is playable. Yes! So are both the largest chat games. You remember that existed. I was waiting for you to. No, I was trying to do it, because it's a really hard button command. I basically just have to roll... Yeah, like that. I just... I'm at the point with emulation where I just assume that something like PS3 wouldn't be able to be emulated. <laughs> just because the 360 can't be. You know what's come out before a 360 emulator? Emulation for the emulator. OG Xbox emulation. Fucking shoosh! Well, it makes sense OG Xbox emulation. But it came out before just that it came out. PS3 emulation came out before 360 emulation. Oh, there's a video we should watch. Hmm. Frame Raider made a really good Xbox emulation video. We just should... about the history of Xbox emulation. We should totally watch that. We should watch it after we're done recording. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Back to using my luminous wherever I put it. You scrolled by it. Shoot. What's it doing down here? Uh, am I heading the right way? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say yes. That's the way back to the, uh... Oh shoot, right. Isn't there a save room inside of the library? No. Shoot. You need to head back up. And if I remember correctly, the upper pathway takes me to, uh, that one guy's lair. We could just go back down to the, uh, sword room. I'm inclined to. Jesus Christ, why do I keep the up? Because it seems like you can die really easily. K-Rule for Smash? K-Rule? K-Rule. Oh, K-Rule. Yes? Ow. Stop that. We, sh we should play the Donkey Kong Country games. That'd be pretty neat. There are so many games we want to play, like... Playing Mega Man. <laughs> At the same time, we have like a list of Castlevania games we both want to play. Castlevania is a good Mario. It's too bad it's dead. Too bad it's dead boy. I should probably pull up a reverse castle map for you. Just so we know where we should go. You wanna leave? How about we leave? <laughs> I'm gonna save that. You know what? Let's find a save room. <laughs> Would it be alright if I head, headed back down to the one at the bottom of the tower? That'd be fine by me. 
I'm just gonna do this. Because they made the elevator practically unusable. And you're not really near enough. Yeah, I remember. It's in the tower, and then you gotta go through another tower, and then the save point is at the bottom of the stairs at the bottom of the near tower. The top, near the top of the castle, there are a lot less save rooms. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. Which also oh, makes... Fudge. Weird. Weirdly enough, that also makes near the end of the reverse castle have a lot of save points. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Alright. This place is gonna be fun. Yep. Alright, and with that, I guess that's it. Mm-hmm. Alright. Seven hours. Yay. <laughs>